as you guys know, I have my uh, relationship, my friendship with Des Bryant. Um, it's unique. I'm proud of it. Uh, and I know Des well enough uh, to have worried a little bit about him over the course of time. Hope he's not offended by that, but it's true. Uh, the same way I worry about a lot of athletes uh, who get thrown into a situation where there is a lot of money and maybe not a lot of guidance. It does feel like Des Bryant's going to be a success story here in this regard. Clearly, Marion Barber is not a success story. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys, and a place where, as we've discussed many times, Second Chance Valley Ranch, the Cowboys pride themselves on being able to take somebody with issues um, and make them successful football players and hopefully successful people. In the case of Des Bryant, that can happen. I think Des is doing just fine. Thank you. Financially and business-wise, and in terms of mental health, where he's been very frank uh, about uh, the ups and downs as he's overcome so much in his incredible life. Marion Barber, unfortunately, is not overcoming. Uh, Barber, of course, uh, a star for the Cowboys over the course of six or seven years, uh, made the Pro Bowl in 2007. Marion, the Barbarian, put up big numbers uh, with a very physical rushing style that may have impacted his post-football life. There are mental health issues now. There are legal issues. There are police issues uh, for Marion Barber, and they're, they're quite sad. Um, all too often, we find ourselves now talking about uh, professional athletes and mental health, and, it, and it's a good thing that we're being open about it, as we discussed with Dallas Mavericks coach Jason Kidd the other day. Uh, the bad part about it is whether or not the mental health issues are a result of having played football in a physical manner. And I don't know that we'll ever know that in the case of Marion Barber, who dating back 2012, 2014, 2018, 2019, run-ins with law enforcement officials, run-ins with citizens, unstable living conditions, um, and at least one incident where uh, the police decided we're not going to arrest Marion Barber. We, we need to take him to a mental hospital. Uh, Des Bryant is now speaking out about that. He put something on Twitter uh, about this issue. You can read more about it by finding me on social media at Fish Sports. Uh, and, and I think Des recognizes, as we've said here before many times too, but for the grace of God, go I. And Des was watching an old video of Marion Barber's punishing running style. And, and Des mentioned how sad it is that Marion Barber, his old teammate, is now down and out. And, and that is the status for Marion Barber. And it's been that way now, uh, going back probably almost a decade. Uh, and uh, the story doesn't seem to get any better. And from what we understand, Marion Barber doesn't seem to get any better. Uh, our thoughts uh, are with him and with everybody struggling with mental health uh, to, to, to talk about it, like Jason Kidd said to us the other day, is helpful. What's frustrating is, okay, but after we talk about it, in the case of Marion Barber, for instance, now what do we do about it? And we don't have very many answers there, do we? Fish out.